In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to install GoldenEye Source. GoldenEye Source is a fan recreation of the hit N64 title GoldenEye 007. It is recreated in Valve's Source Engine, and there are a few prerequisites to installing the game. Going into the tutorial, there are resources you will need, and they will be linked in the description. As a prerequisite to installing GoldenEye Source, you will need to install Steam. And once you have Steam installed and opened, it should look something like this. Navigate over to your library in the top left and be sure you're at home. And in the drop down, you'll see four options, games, soundtrack, and software. Select only tools. And when doing that, you'll notice you'll have less options than usual. However, you'll want to scroll through the list here and find Source SDK Base 2007. Once you have that selected, you're going to want to click the Install button. And this install process can take a little bit, so we're going to let it install and jump back into the rest of the tutorial after. Now that we have Source SDK Base 2007 installed, the next step is going to be to navigate over to the link in the description. GESHL2, which is GoldenEye Source Half-Life 2, and you're going to want to click Downloads. Under Downloads, you're going to see Client, Server, and Soundtrack. We're going to go to Client Downloads, and you have a few options. The first one is the one we're going to work with. However, if it doesn't work for you, you can always try Game Stand, or you can have a BitTorrent client or any torrent client, just download that file that way. However, we're going to do a direct download from ModDB. So when clicking ModDB, you're going to see it looks pretty old school, almost like a Game Banana website. This is a real download button, so we're going to click the download button, and it's going to automatically start our download within a few seconds. However, I have seen where the first download does not work. Your options are to click Try Another Mirror, and there are a myriad of just other download servers that may work if the first one does not for you. So we're going to let this download. It is a two gig file, so it's going to take a few seconds. And once that's done, we're going to jump to installing. OK, now that our download's finished, we're going to navigate over to our downloads folder and we're going to run GoldenEye Source. In doing so, you're going to see a few prompts. The first one being the publisher cannot be verified. We're going to go ahead and click run. And it's going to go ahead and extract the files. This can take a few seconds, but it's just unpacking them for the installer. Now that that's done, it's going to ask for admin privileges. We're going to go ahead and grant them. And we're going to select a language. Not too, too many in there, but I'm going to roll with English. There's going to be a EULA. You can read through this if you'd like. I'm just going to click Agree. And since I already have it installed, it's going to go ahead and uninstall it and reinstall it for me. So I'm going to click OK. And in here you have a few different options i'm just going to run with the default and just click install this can take a while this can take up to five minutes so once this is done we're going to jump to how to actually run the game the path that the game is installed in is under program files x86 steam steam apps and source mods you can actually run the game from the goldeneye source underscore run right here or you can also send a shortcut of it to your desktop so you don't have to come back to this folder every time. The other method to run the game is by using your Windows search. Search for GoldenEye Source under the Windows search down here and launch it that way. If this is your first time running the game, you're most likely going to need to go to the video settings and set your aspect ratio to widescreen 16 by 9 depending on your monitor and your resolution 1920 by 1080 or other resolutions depending on your monitor. After that, just hit apply and it'll go widescreen. And to start playing, just click find servers and you can either find one with players in it or you and some friends can just join a server and get to playing. The other options is you can create a server. However, to get it to appear on the list and have people join from off of your network will require port forwarding on your router. I won't get into that. However, I will have the guide in the description for the ports you need to open. 
Okay, well that's about it. I'm just gonna supplement the rest of this with some gameplay, and if you like any more tutorials or have any questions, just like, subscribe, and put some comments in the comment section.